Let's take a look at some of the morning's front pages. We'll begin with The Sun. It's leading with the claims, as yet unconfirmed, that Prince Andrew has been served with legal papers by lawyers for Virginia Giuffray, who is pursuing a civil case in the United States, accusing him of sexual abuse. The Duke has denied all the examinations. The allegations. The Times reports that ministers are set to abandon reforms to planning laws which are designed to help councils reach house-building targets. The paper claims earlier more radical proposals will now be watered down. The Telegraph says the Prime Minister is considering plans to reintroduce the mandatory use of face masks if coronavirus infections continue to increase. Downing Street hasn't confirmed the claims. And the Daily Mail carries a photograph of Britain's Emma Raducanu, who is preparing for the biggest match in her career. Something about the statement now. On the final of the US Open in New York, um, it happens this evening. The 18-year-old will face Canada's Leila Fernandez, who herself is just two months older. She's only 19. You can hear live commentary on BBC Radio 5 Live. Build-up starting at 8 p.m. And just on that note, I'm looking. Um, obviously, the it was the results. It's been a bit of a catch-up for some of the newspapers because yesterday morning was they couldn't quite do it because the results had come in quarter to five. Literally quarter yeah. to five. So. I, I'm loving these lines. Schoolgirl to superstar in 73 days. It's a great line, isn't it? Because she took her A-levels, yeah. did very well, yeah. by all accounts, yeah. got really good I results. I think she got an A and A star. So she was sitting in the exam hall, taking the A-levels, and uh, lo and behold, we know what happened at Wimbledon, and she did very well. And now this extraordinary journey, the US Open final, anything could happen, Nine o'clock tonight. It is a remarkable tale. It's not often that I say you are right. Good. But today I will, because yesterday you said she's won already. And I do think that sentiment is a really good one, because there will be all that pressure, won't there, on her, you know, to win, an expectation, because she's had a brilliant run through. But she's there. She's at the final when she's 18. It's unbelievable. Just talking of young people doing brilliantly well, young sports people, this is a golfer who's just turned 15, and he's believed to be the youngest person in the UK to achieve two holes in one in the same round. So, and the odds of this are 167 million to one. Don't ask me how they figure out the odds in this. Um, for anyone who is interested, uh, there was a 160-yard um, par three and a 170-yard par three. He used a seven iron for the first and a four iron for the second. It's a very rare thing. What's the young man's name? The young man is James Watson. Well, well done, James Watson.